In the ongoing Ukraine conflict, MiG-31 fighter aircraft have reportedly shot down several Ukrainian aircraft, mainly by utilizing the long-range R-37M air-to-air missile. The MiG-31s have been able to operate virtually unopposed due to Ukraine's own fighters lacking range, speed or altitude. A Russian hypersonic air-to-air -air missile with a very long range, the Vimpel R-37M axe head and its variants, are designed to shoot down tankers, AWACS, and other C-4 Ister aircraft. The axe head missiles have kept the Ukrainian and NATO at farther distances. A report by the Royal United Services Institute, RUSI, states that in October 2022, some 6 R-37M were being fired at the Ukrainian air force a day. To avoid R-37M missiles, Ukraine has had to attempt to destroy MiG-31s while they are still on the ground. On January 26, according to the Ukrainian Air Force, 55 missiles and 24 shod 136 drones were fired at targets in Ukraine. Included in the attack was a KH-47 Kinzel hypersonic missile. On March 9, a barrage of 84 missiles, including six Kinzels, was fired at Ukrainian cities, their largest use to date. Ukraine has no way to stop Kinzels. MiG-31 is a supersonic interceptor aircraft that was developed for use by the Soviet Air Force through the Mikoyan Design Bureau as a replacement for the earlier MiG-25 Foxbat and has the distinction of being among the fastest combat jets in the world. The Russian Air Force operates 130 aircraft and the Kazakhstan Air Force operates 20. The Russian Defense Ministry expects the MiG-31s to remain in service until 2030 or beyond and was confirmed in 2020 when an announcement was made to extend the service lifetime from 2,500 to 3,500 hours on the existing airframes. Over 50 planes are modified to MiG-31BM. Russians claim that the MiG-31BM is 2.6 times more efficient. The upgraded Zaslon M radar detection range for air targets has been increased to 400 kilometers for AEW and C-sized aircraft. The air Aircraft can automatically track up to 24 targets and simultaneously engage up to 8. The new long-range Mach 6 R-37 missile has a range of up to 400 kilometers. MiG-31BM has the multi-role capability as it is capable of using anti-radar, air-to-ship, and air-to-ground missiles. Some avionics are common to the MiG-29 SMT and it has a flight refueling probe. Though it evolved from the MiG-25, there were significant changes. The aircraft fuselage is longer. The wings and airframe of the MiG-31 were stronger than those of the MiG-25. The advanced radar, with look-up and look-down shoot-down capability, and multi-target tracking and engagement, was a significant improvement. The aircraft had advanced sensors and weapons. Radar reportedly worked well even during active radar jamming. The MiG-31 was not designed for close combat or high G turning, and the max G limit was 5. The MiG-31BM had upgraded avionics. HOTUS controls, and modern multi-function displays. There were four semi-recessed hard points under the fuselage and four underwing pylons with a capacity of up to 9,000 kilograms of ordnance, and they could carry combinations of air-to-air -air and air-to-surface missiles. The MiG-31 has two Soloviv D-30F6 engines with 93 kn dry thrust and 152 kn with afterburner. 